going to a racetrack, you're bringing a goddamn snake to a carnival. It's starting to feel like a zookeeper. Well, at least my snake's quiet. He just sleeps. You stay with a carnival anyway. Money stinks. Because every town we hit's crawling with field life. Field life? Chicks, man. They like to hang around for the excitement. And <laughs> hey, what chick would want you? Hey, they all pushovers for anyone in showbiz. Well, I better go take a look, see. Somebody might be trying to cop a free ride. Yeah, you be careful. Hey, Bill. 
know that you? Wonderful pork roast, Mrs. Thank Carson. you, Father. Do you know why a pig is like a saint? No, Father. Because he gets more praise after he's dead than when he's alive. In my cut, eh? Now, that's not the sort of joke one expects to hear from a priest. I'll try to be more careful from now on. Well. No, no, leave that. I'm gonna read a little while. Where's my drink? All right. Hi. How are you? May I introduce my daughter, Kim? Evelyn is a real live witch. Are you really? Yes, really. But I'm a witch who uses her powers for good. How can it be good if it's witchcraft? The witches do a lot of good. We heal the sick. We foretell the future and advise lovers. We promote fertility. But don't worry, Matt. I'm not promoting any right now. <laughs> Matt. Brady's in the den making campaign speeches again. Boring everybody to tears. Well, I'll rescue them. Excuse me? Certainly. This is 
is a lot better party than your last one, Mommy. <laughs> Thanks, son. <laughs> I'm glad you could come, Ev. <laughs> How's your drink? Need some ice? No, mustn't dilute it. <laughs> Let's sit down. Why not? Do you use a crystal ball? A crystal ball is just a prop for fake fortune tellers. I use things that people touch or hold. Like money? People can't hold on to that long enough to make an impression. The simple things. Something that picks up a person's rhythm. Their vibes. Mm, like what? The grounds and the coffee cup can tell a lot. Can you read mine? Can't read Coco. <laughs> Let me see your hand. Obey your parents. Brady, be a good mayor and stop talking so much. Just trying to pick up a few votes. You want to pick up a few votes? Mm. Shut up. <laughs> Hello, Madam Witch. Will I make any money in the stock market this year? Is a pig find truffles in the mud? How about the dog track? Any predictions on that? I have a couple. Well, I didn't know you were a clairvoyant father. Wouldn't take a ESP to know that gambling will make a lot of people miserable. Some people very rich. For someone who pays no taxes, you have a lot to say. Matt, I haven't been introduced to Father Farrow yet. Evelyn, this is Father Farrow, St. Mike's new pastor. Father Farrow, Evelyn Downs, our town historian and local sorceress. Yes, so I've heard. Heard a lot about you, too. Yes, I bet you have. No, no, I've been doing some research. You're descended from the Sligo Pharaohs, aren't you? Yes, yes, oh. I am. Oh, that's a fascinating family. It goes all the way back to the Druids. They burned witches, smashed temples, and carried on like a one-family inquisition. Well, if you want to talk to my uncle, he spends most of his time shaking the family tree. Father Farrow seems to have inherited some of their reforming zeal. Perhaps just a touch. Considering your family history, Father, I sure would like to have a look at that coffee cup. But you won't find it very interesting. Are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. Are you sure? Oh, sure as if I saw it in my crystal ball. Would you mind telling me what you saw in my cup? If you walk me to my car, I'll talk to you about it. Yeah, sure. Do you think you should drive? I could drop you. Never mind about me. You're the one who's in danger. Is that what you saw in my cup? You have a powerful enemy. Oh, Matt Perry. He doesn't scare me. Oh, no, not Matt Perry. Never before felt the presence of evil so strongly. It was as if I were looking into the face of Satan. <laughs> oh, come on, Evelyn. Parlor tricks are one thing. We're alone now, you... We're not alone. I don't know exactly what it was I saw in the cup. But it wasn't human. Did it, um... have a forked tail and uh, little horns? He wants your soul. Is that a joke to you? That wasn't Satan you saw, that was me. How can I make you understand? Well, let me put it this way. If the devil came to Earth to destroy a priest, he'd choose one that was worth destroying, wouldn't he? <laughs> Someone worthy of his attention. Father. Mm -hmm. I'm very sure about this. Well. Satan thinks I'm that important. That's something of an honor, isn't it? I'm very flattered. 
In any case, don't don't worry about me anymore. I I can take care of myself, all right. All right. Good night, everyone. I'm Denise Williams, Channel 3. Could I talk with you a moment? Sure. Um, okay, you stand here. I'll talk a little, you know, police have a mystery on their hands, something like that. And then I'll walk over to you and do an interview, okay? Right. Okay. Last night, a runaway train came to a dead stop in a remote area of Greene County. Today, the police have a mystery on their hands. This is Greene County Sheriff George Tatum. What's the word on victim, Sheriff? There was a young man found on the train who was declared dead at the scene. The engineer was dead when we found him. The only survivor is the brakeman who's listed in critical condition. Do you have any idea what caused all this? We're investigating that. Will this affect the opening of the new dog track? No way. Everything's under control. Everything's under control? Two people dead and one in critical condition? No further comment. Action News will keep you up to date on the latest developments in this story. From Greene County... Time ring a little longer, will you, Peggy? I barely heard you. Sorry, Dr. Sheridan. What's up? Uh, he's been stirring. He said something. Raise his head a little, please. It sounded something like a uh, stake or quake. Okay. Save that for Sheriff Tatum. Just watch his vital signs. Don't leave him for a minute, okay? Right. I gotta go check on those autopsies. If you need me, I'll be in pathology. Oh, have fun. Sorry. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, Doctor. Ah, uh, Maggie, I got here as fast as I could. How's the patient? Crossing over into your territory. Uh, where is he? Down in 101. What happened? I don't know, but I still haven't talked to Owens. Maybe the dead can tell us what the living can't. What is it, Doctor? Farmer. His son said he was attacked by a snake. Pulse is a little slow. Did you check for serum sensitivity? We're on the way. I'll be with you in a minute. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. I was up all night. What'd you find out? No, oh, fascinating things. Fascinating. Hungry? Home cooked? Uh, no, thanks. The engineer. Just a plain old massive coronary. Now, he was working on a drinker's liver. Probably would have given him trouble in a couple of years, but other than that, a pretty healthy spot. Skip the details. Did you find out anything? Yep. Yeah. Okay, hold it. Look at this. sure yet. Some kind of puncture. Got any unofficial guesses? I think it's a bite. A bite? Venomous lizard, reptile, probably snake. If there's some kind of dangerous snake crawling around, maybe we ought to make some sort of announcement. I'd watch myself if I were you. What's that supposed to mean? Matt Perry has everything staked on that dog track opening. What's the dog track got to do with it? You know rumors. You announce there's a renegade rattler loose, and in a week they'll call it a boa constrictor. I was in the Peace Corps in South America. I saw a lot of snake bites, but I've never seen anything like this. Maybe we ought to bring in an expert from the university. Perry won't like outsiders nosing around. I wasn't appointed by Matt Perry, Dr. Owens. I'm calling somebody in now. It was just a kid. Yeah, just a kid with an A1 case of virulent syphilis. How you doing? Okay. You're Dr. Hendricks. Well, there's supposed to be Dr. Sheridan who picked me up here. He send you? I'm Dr. Sheridan. Whoops. <laughs> My car's over here. Okay, I'm sorry. That's okay. Well, what about these snake bites? What's so unusual? Only one of them is unusual. Describe it. Well, it... Hey, listen, I don't want to offend you, but you might be overreacting. You'll change your mind when you see the corpse. I just want to drop in on one patient. It's on the way to the lab. Is that okay? No. <laughs> we were clearing the south pasture. When I found Daddy, a rattler had been at him. How do you know it was a rattler? It was still there. Besides, I've seen lots of them. But I ain't never seen one as weird as this. Weird? Weird in what way? He stood straight up on his tail, swaying in the wind like a cornstalk. Stood up? Stood up. And then I chopped off his head with the hedge cutter, but the rest of his body just stood there, straight as an arrow. I got him right here. Well, it's, uh, it's 
diamond back, all right. This is thick. A big specimen for this area. It's just a rattlesnake. There's nothing special about it. Yeah. Well, you haven't seen what I told you about at the airport yet. That's the wrong guy. I guess he's on the autopsy table. <laughs> Where's Dr. Owens? He had a call from the mayor. What happened to the cadaver that was in here, the young male? Released. On whose authority? Dr. Owens. What funeral home? Someplace in Freeburg. Uh, here it is, Freeburg Crematorium. gonna help. Yeah, well, Father, uh, thanks. Yeah. Let's see a mass occasionally. You know, when problems build up, you can give them the guard, you know. He can be quite a trip, too. Yeah, Father, I know what you mean. Well, God bless. Nice going, Father Flanagan. Yeah. Father, it's Evelyn. Oh, hi, Evelyn. How are you? It's happened. He's here. Oh, who's here? Your enemy, the one I told you about last night. I think I understand everything now. You know something, Evelyn? You're more religious than I am. There are things you have to learn. Your life may depend on it. Um, all right. I'll, um, come over a little later. No, 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 no. I'll come for you. Promise me. Promise me you won't go out tonight. Okay, Evelyn, stay cool. I'll be here all night. You can come tell me about it. Well, ma'am, this case is closed. I feel like such a fool having brought you here on a wild goose chase. I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's okay. I mean, uh, if anything happens, uh, call me and I'll come back. You're a nice man, Paul. Thanks. Oh. Thank you. Uh, uh thank you. Tell me you never heard of Perry. Where you been? You can bet he's going to skim a nice piece off them dog track profits, that's for sure. Hey, you want to watch the road, please? I don't have to. I know it by heart. You're on the left side of the road. Of course, Perry is a little dishonest, no more than he ought to be. Holy, I'll be damned. What'd I do wrong? Beats me. I never got stopped by an ambulance before. I think that's for me. Hi. Hi. You missed me already? There's been another snake attack. Same symptoms as the first one. The one that got away? This one you'll see. Well, how can you be sure? I hijacked it.
I've never seen this kind of toxic reaction. I'm not familiar with it. This is so weird. All these snake bites like some sort of crazy epidemic. I, I don't know how to cope with it. Let's get back to the hospital, okay? Okay. All right. Got some kind of snake over at Willard's Hardware. Anybody hurt? Well, no, they got it boxed in. Well, what kind of snake is it? A uh, black one. Match. Your motel's just up the road. What's it called? A motel? It's the only one in town. Thanks for the car. You ought to get some sleep. We won't get the results till tomorrow. Oh, don't worry. Nothing will keep me up tonight. OK. I'll see you tomorrow.
Downs here last night. No, she never made it. Must have had second thought. By the way, um, good morning. Morning? You mean you haven't heard her? Heard what? She's dead. What? Evelyn Downs, president of the Green County Historical Society, died yesterday. A hospital spokesman said Mrs. Downs died of an unknown ailment. And the rest is just stuff about her activities. I can't believe it. She was found on Spring Street. But she must have been on her way here. I should have gone to see her instead. She was very upset. Let me see her. Unknown ailment. Oh, they put that when they don't want to say the real cause, like if it was suicide or the liquor. everything from scratch, even the rolls. It's the only way I like to cook. What's he doing here? Excuse me, I rang your bell, but there was no answer. It's OK. Um, uh, Paul Hendricks, Father Farrell, Father Farrell, Paul. How do you do? Uh, good friend. Would you like some coffee? Uh, no, thank you. I just uh, heard about Evelyn Downs' death. I wonder if you could tell me a little bit more about the cause. Uh, the autopsy isn't finished yet. Ah, then you don't really know. Why are you interested? Well, I think she was on her way to see me when it happened. OK. Um, we're trying not to jump to any conclusions or make any hasty announcements. We also don't have any proof. What are you talking about? She was killed by a snake. By a snake? Paul's a herpetologist. The wound was extraordinary. I've been studying snakes for 20 years, and I can't identify it. Do you know anything about all this? Um, no. No, not yet. Excuse me. See what's in store for you. This is where you're sent when you can no longer break the wafer. Very peaceful. There is no peace except the mind. I guess not. And I think yours is far from peaceful now. I didn't know it showed. The bishop was talking about you the oh, other day. Oh, yes, yes. He said my attitude is bad. I'm not well loved in the parish. He doesn't know what to make of me. Very close. Oh. That's not what I want to talk to you about. What is it, Tom? If this were a case of typhoid, you'd listen to me. Exactly. But it's not. 
There was a snake in your room. That's not an epidemic. Oh, come on. There have been other victims. You ordered one of them cremated. I spoke to Dr. Owens. He said he didn't know the cause of that death. As far as I could tell, I was uh, dealing with an unknown virus. I had to act fast. Owens is no authority. Paul Hendricks is a noted herpetologist. He thinks this situation is extremely dangerous. He has agreed to stay here and help us. Are you sure it's just the snakes that are keeping him here? I hope not. I'll investigate the matter when I can. Will you at least warn the people? The less people who know about this, the better. Lives are in danger here. I'll take that risk. Now that I've said it, Uncle, it sounds laughable. You're not laughing. Not time. Not supposed to happen. Don't tell me you believe any of this superstition. Don't call it that. You don't know enough about it. About it? About what? How much were you ever told about your father's death? My father? He died in the war. He took his own life. What? He kept saying that something... something was after him, something unspeakable. I thought he was suffering from delusions, paranoid fears. How did... what happened? That one day he was found, horribly mutilated. A razor clutched in his hand. I believed him then. Too late. I started to trace the family records. I found violent deaths, bizarre incidents. Strange disappearances every third generation. I traced it all the way back, astounded, until I came to O'Fara, a follower of the St. Patrick. He was Helen, the scourge of the Druids. He burned their shrines and the oak trees they held so sacred, so that the Druid high priest pronounced a curse upon O'Fara and all his children, on and on. To my father. I still see him trembling in my nightmares. But uh, if my father was the third generation, why should I be affected? When you became a priest, I thought our family would die out with us. I thought it was all over. There has to be another explanation for this. If Satan has descended on your parish, there should be signs of his presence. Aberrations of nature. Animals acting strangely. Snakes. Remember Genesis. The snake was the first form that Satan ever took. What can I do? Your strongest weapon is your faith in God. Despair. The sin against the Holy Ghost, the most mortal of sins. No wonder Satan has come to you now. He chooses his moment with the skill of a diamond cutter. My guess is that you have never been closer to him. It's your soul he's after. A priest would make a bright flame in hell. Come on, Jan, let's go to the car. It's a little bit more comfortable, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Later, maybe. What in the hell's going on, anyway? I don't know. Whatever it is, the mayor wants a tight lid on it. Yeah, we'll need a bunch of drunk hunters out shooting up the woods. Yeah. Uh, Jack. Huh? You done any hunting lately? Report every 15 minutes. If you see anything, yell. All
I'm here. See anything? Nothing yet. Keep me posted. All right. Evelyn Down seemed more alive than most people. Now she's dead. I have very few words of comfort for you. God has not given us the wisdom to understand his will, nor the sight always to perceive goodness in his works. We stand as if lacking a vital sense of Evelyn's grave and wonder why. No answer comes. O oh Lord, whose mercies cannot be numbered, accept our prayers on behalf of thy servant Evelyn and grant her entrance into the land of light and joy. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, amen. 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 I didn't mean to start it. Look, I've come across something very important. This is a sort of Pharaoh family history. It's written in Gaelic. Mine is rusty, to say the least. But I have managed to work out two things. One, a bit of a puzzle. It seems that one member of the family, Timothy, was a priest. And a third generation eldest son, the only one to ever die a natural death. Now, it says here, that Timothy faced the demon who was in the form of a large serpent and defeated him. It says the serpent did not come near him until Timothy was clothed in sacred raiment but without ornament. Without ornament? Timothy faced the serpent in a kluhach. Kluhach? That's a natural shelter. And drove Satan from him with a golden sign. Now, what do you suppose that means? What does any of it mean? It's a lot of superstitious nonsense. Satan in the body. What is it? What's your heart?
be all right. Tom, please. It's you he wants. I don't know why, suddenly, a lot of people are being bitten by snakes. And I don't know why the snakes were acting so strangely. Well, what do you know? I know that a woman known to all of you died of snake bite. And I know that I saw two very big rattlers. And I know that the substantial wound that I saw did not come from a rattlesnake. What about Mayor Thorpe? Shouldn't he be here? I spoke with the mayor, but his only concern seems to be the dog track. You all know what the hell is going on here. I told you, the people have to be warned. I don't know what these people have been telling you. But if it has to do with a snake, they've been wasting your time. You think that saving people's lives is a waste of time? What lives are we talking about? Evelyn Downs, for one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah what about that kid at the lake? Yeah, Did they find the body yet? Kids have been drowning at Moccasin Lake ever since I can remember. And as for Evelyn, Dr. Owens has the autopsy report with him. Doctor? The cause of death was anaphylactic shock, the result of a severe allergic reaction to a simple bee sting under the right eye. This 
please. This whole snake hysteria started with one snake at Willard's store, and Sheriff Tatum took care of that. Now, I suggest we all go back to work and forget about this nonsense. I was nearly killed by a giant snake this morning at Evelyn Downs' funeral. If the snake had appeared a few minutes sooner, he would have killed many of the people in this room. Uh, please, uh, uh, this meeting will, will continue in, in private. Now, we have to talk about this dilemma. Say, Gritty. Now, you folks listen to me. It's now 2 o'clock. In 24 hours, that dog track opens no matter what. And Grady's going to order a cure for you from sunset tonight until noon tomorrow. That gives you 18 hours to find those snakes and kill them. That's not enough time. Well, that's the time you've got. Now, Sheriff Tatum will deputize all the men that you'll need. Now, if you haven't solved the problem when the time's up, keep your faces shut till that track opens, or you'll find yourself pissing in a jailhouse, John, faster than you can blink. On what charge? We'll come up with something. Don't think I'm afraid of that turned around collar, either. I'd lock up the Pope if he tried to screw up this deal. Five normally defensive snakes behaving aggressively. It's weird. 
You know, it's like they're heading in the same direction. What's up there? I don't know. You sure? Some place it might attract them. Darkness, crevices, moisture. Cave. You said the guy was reliable. I don't want to hear any more nonsense about snakes. He knew his job, he just failed to carry it out. Now you tell him to get on his bike and ride it away from this town, or I'll get him locked up. Now do it. I don't get it. Well, they all shed their skins. At least that proves he's in there. Yeah, well, it was. If he shed this, he'll probably be out in the prowl. Yeah. I'm going to need a few things. Some anti-venom. Well, look, maybe when we're back there, we can ask him to extend that curfew. We can try. Yeah. All right, now, supposing that this particular King Cobra was more than just a snake, supposing this was the embodiment of evil. What are you getting at? Evelyn Downs was trying to warn me of something. She was killed. My uncle, the Monsignor, knew his secret. 
The serpent caused his death. This new man in the hospital, maybe he knew something. And the first one, the boy on the train. Yes. It can't be just coincidence. You understand what you're saying? Snakes don't make plans. They're pure instinct. Nothing separates them from their subconscious. Something happens and they respond. They don't think. The serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. It's a snake. It's a goddamn big snake. It is Satan! This whole thing's a pain. What whole thing? This curfew garbage. There are dangerous snakes out there, Matt. There've always been snakes in this area. But we didn't have to lock ourselves in the house. These snakes alone, they leave you alone. Everybody isn't obsessed with the dog track, you know. That's all you think about anymore. You're living pretty well because I think about my business investments. There's a difference between good business and taking advantage of people. You've changed lately, and it's not a pleasant change. Was that cat outside? Did you go out after it? Yes. You were told not to go outside. There's a curfew, you know that. But that's why I had to get banded. He was all alone. I was really worried about him, Dad. I understand. I don't. Now, you disobeyed, and you might have been hurt. You're grounded for the rest of the week. But what about the opening tomorrow? I said the rest of the week. Daddy. You heard your mother. thing that ever happened to this state. Hey, open up, will you, Chief? Well, I've got money to lose. Give it to me. I can guarantee you'll never see it again. <laughs> Hi, Jim. Hi. Uh, your dad's inside. You want me to have him page? Oh, no, he's probably busy. Uh, go on in. He's showing some people around. Okay.
my car. Sorry, man. Beer wants me out of the track. That's okay. Shouldn't you get her to the hospital? Better not move her. For some damn reason, her body's reacting to the bite twice as fast as it should. The hospital's sending over some anti-venom. I'm going out and tell the people there won't be an opening. Wait a minute. Not today, man. Adrenaline? Do you know where he is? The caverns. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all men, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me.
Sancte Michael, Archangelae, defend in us in Braille, contra iniquitiamit insidias diaboli esto praesidio, tu quetrin keps mit... Satan! I surrender the cross. Not you, he's after. Heartbeat's almost normal. We can get her into the ambulance now. Okay, let's go. going to be all right. I think so. I'm going with her. So am I. No. You stay here. You take a look at this place and you just think what you almost paid for it. Oh, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof. Speak with the word and my soul will be you. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof. Speak with the word and my soul will be you. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof. Speak with the word and my soul. Oh, my God. 